so I got my linear rail back plate loaded in the machine I've got these machinist jacks to support the corners and now we're going to drill a series of holes we're going to do some thread milling and we've got a pocket here in the center so let's get started Okay, these are M4, so now I've got an M4 thread mill in there. We're just going to go back and thread these holes. Now we've got to do a pocket here in the center and bore a hole.
finishes up that. We've got our mounting holes here for our rail and then this pocket here for the bracket for the air cylinder. There's going to be some other fixture, uh, some sensors I need to mount and some holes I need to put in there for maybe some cable chain uh, and there may be some other holes that I need to, some mounting holes for the bracketry to hold it onto the actual mill. And once I get all that sorted out, I'll drill those holes manually. Uh, you can see I used machinist jacks here to keep it supported. This is a long piece here. And so I wanted to make sure, even though I wasn't doing really much but drilling and tapping, or drilling and thread milling, I didn't want uh, anything to move or, or deflect. So I just put some machinist jack under here to uh, support it. There's one on each. Actually, there's four just to give us some support. All right, let's take it out and we'll get a good look at it. All right, guys, well, that's, there's the uh, rail back plate. Turned out pretty good. Gonna be using Highland linear rails for the whole carriage assembly. I really uh, I really like machining this uh, Mike 6. It's very, very flat stuff to start out with and uh, I think it's going to make just for an overall better system. Everything will be nice and flat and I don't have to worry about it. Normally that flat bar stock that you normally get, the 6061 stuff has a, like a crown in it or on the bottom side it might have a dip in it but this is this is nice and flat so this is going to work out good. Alright guys in the next video I guess I'll start machining some tool forks. And then after I get that done, we can start doing a little bit of assembly. Stay tuned for that video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down here below. When I post a new video, they'll send you a link. And if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, 